I'm Jason Whiteley. Lots happening at the state capitol right now, so let's begin there. We now have a better idea of exactly what this legislative session might look like over the next three and a half months. Governor Abbott named seven emergency items that lawmakers can begin considering right now. Among them are using the budget surplus to lower the state's sky high property taxes and creating education savings accounts so parents can use tax dollars to educate their child however they see fit. Along the southern border, arrests of undocumented immigrants, they are down 40% there, and that is the lowest level in two years. A new Biden administration policy is likely the reason for it because it allows people seeking asylum if they are from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. They can only come into the U.S. if they apply for that asylum in their home countries rather than doing it after they cross the border. Republican Senator John Cornyn, though, says that Biden's policy artificially lowers the numbers and is not a real solution. And Senator Ted Cruz says he is not going to run for president next year. He's only running for re-election to his Senate seat. Cruz has hinted at this for a while now, but told supporters in a call the other day, according to the Dallas Morning News, he's not going to do it. Cruz has barely registered in the presidential polls so far, near the bottom of the pack with single-digit numbers. Sunday morning on Inside Texas Politics, you know, those border numbers of arrests are way down. So why does the Texas National Guard want a half billion dollars more for its mission there? Inside Texas Politics right here Sunday morning.